Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm sharing how I transformed five thrifted store items into beautiful high-end decor for my home using IOD transfers. So if you like home decor projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on a budget, then I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I found a small picture frame at the thrift store for 49 cents. I removed the back and the glass. I used a piece of sanding paper to lightly sand the top of the picture frame to take off some of the shellac that was on the frame so the paint would adhere to it better. I painted the frame with two coats of the linen white chalk paint from Mustoleum. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be all right. When the frame dried, I brushed dark wax on the frame and wiped off the excess. I painted the back part of the frame with the linen white chalk paint. If you're giving me your love, giving me your love, all that we have is each other now. Promise you won't leave my side. I gave it a coat of the big top to seal it, and this also made it easier to apply the rep on transfer from IOD. I picked the beautiful flower transfer and used the tool that comes with the pad to rub the transfer onto the back of the frame. I put the frame back together and that was it. I love how this little frame turned out. It's perfect for that small space on the wall that may need something pretty to spruce it up. This was an easy makeover and could be done with any kind of frame and transfer. Let me know in the comments what you think of this little frame. For this DIY, I found two small candle holders that were spray painted black. I gave them two coats of the linen white chalk paint from Astolium. When they dried, I lightly sanded the candle holders using a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. Oh, oh. 
I wanted to bring out the detailing on the candle holders. I rubbed DIY dark wax on the candle holders and this gave it the antique aged look that I wanted. These match perfectly with my home decor. I'll be placing them on my tear tray with candles on top. Sometimes just painting something a different color can make a piece of decor look totally different. Let me know in the comments what you think of these little candle holders. For this DIY, I found a cute wood chair at the thrift store. I painted the chair with two coats of the linen white chalk paint from a stoleum. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay I have the painterly florals IOD transfer pad I picked the sunflower transfers to place on the chair just loving I placed one on top of the chair and used the tool the pad comes with to rub the transfer on. Forever, forever. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. I applied one sunflower on each side of the chair and I rubbed a few leaves on the sides as well. I rubbed Welcome Home from a rub on transfer from the Dollar Tree on the back of the chair. I 
I sanded the entire chair and transfers with a piece of 80 grit sanding paper to give it a distressed look. I felt the white was too white for the look that I wanted. I brushed DIY dark wax on the entire chair and wiped off the excess. And that was it for this DIY. love how this chair looks now. It's old and rustic looking and it's going to look so pretty sitting on my front porch this spring. I think it looks adorable. It may not be everyone's cup of tea but it will be a sweet touch to my porch. Let me know in the comments what you think of this chair. Let me know in the comments what you think of this chair. For this DIY, I found a really cool vintage napkin holder at the Salvation Army for 99 cents. I want to do something different so it matches my decor in my kitchen. I painted the holder with the Siobhan chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I didn't like the color as much as I thought on the napkin holder So I decided to paint it with the moss chalk paint from Waverly instead As I have this color throughout my kitchen even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. When it dried, I picked some floral flowers from the Painterly Florals pad from IOD. I rubbed the transfers in the corner on both sides and one on top with leaves. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
Even if the sky is falling down I finished this DIY with napkins I found at the dollar store. They were a little too big, so I cut the bottom to fit in the napkin holder, and that worked perfectly. I love how this vintage napkin holder turned out. My husband also made a comment how it looked cool and matched the kitchen nicely. Let me know in the comments what you think of this holder. For this DIY, I have a small ceramic plant holder for the wall. I'm not overly excited of the color, so I painted the plant holder with two coats of the sandstone chalk paint from Waverly. It gave it a stone look, which I really like. I wanted to give it more of an antique look and bring out the detailing on the holder more. So I brushed DIY dark wax on the holder and wiped off the excess and that gave it the look I was going for. I placed eucalyptus inside the plant holder and this will be hanging in my bathroom. Again, sometimes just painting something over a different color is all that is needed to get that high end look you want. I hope I inspired you today with some new ideas for those thrifted items you may have for your home. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who joined me today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now. Easy.